So, good morning and welcome to this channel, One Lonely Farmer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the Ag Talking Raw in a minute, but I want to talk about a wonderful individual who lives over there on the other side of the pond, Lord Muck. Okay, so here in the United States, and I just have to, I just have to put this out there because I think he's got, I think he's got a team of kids that he never told anybody about, and one of them is an actor. And this kid has landed the leading role in The Kid Who Would Be King. Now, I'm looking at this commercial and I'm like, you know, God, that looks, that kid looks familiar to me. Who the hell is this? So I'm, all of a sudden, I, I click over to Facebook, you know, and I see a face. And it's Podge Muck on Facebook. And I'm like, Podge Muck? Podge Muck's kid. Lord Muck? Lord Muck's kid. It has to be true. If you don't know who Lord Muck is, go to YouTube, type in Lord Muck or Twerking Points, and don't forget to look at the kid who would be king. I'm not saying watch the movie, just look at that kid's face and look at Mr. Mucker's face. Yeah, check it out. This. This I'm not shooting you! Okay, this is crazy Asian with you put it? Just get the damn thing. Okay. No, I didn't get it. It's <laughs> not. I don't want to die today. Is there another shell in there? No. Okay. Good. One at a time, so we can only have one in one chance of being killed. A last chance? How many got in there? Oh, it's my number four. Okay. We got to go. Okay. Say when. Tell me when. Ah, uh, when. Not even looking. Not even looking. I almost tried to like me. Bead. The bead. Hold on. I'll I'll pull for Tim. Oh. Pull. Still missed that one. I don't know how many shells we got, but we'll, we'll go till you hit one. Let me check the hey, board. Joe, put one on. All right, well, I do everything one handed now. You're one handed? Yeah, I gotta. Ooh. What are you, left handed? <laughs> All right, he's probably hit it now. <laughs> Who's first? You. Uh, you. Pull. Suck. You know, this thing chucks them a hell of a lot farther. Uh huh. Here. You hey, Dad, do you want to test a theory? You said he can't hit the broad side of a barn, right? If you're standing in it, that's the rest of that. You couldn't hit the broad side of a barn if you were standing in it. Well, that's why I need to practice now, isn't it? <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> Hey, Joe, you're not ready. No, I'm not. Yeah, Teresa? Here you go. You're better at this than you. Nope. That's okay, Why is your camera got that line? Oh, uh, somebody hit something. It's not going to hurt anything. We'll oh. Go. Okay, what do we got? Me first. first, right? Yep. Pull. Cool. It's my rental car. Yeah. You ready to go, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, Joe, have you shoot yet? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I was just complaining about it. I was complaining. What, you're missing two, Joe? Yes. <laughs> all right, so we need more practice, that's all. Go first, and then down. That's a speedy one. Jesus. He's, he's just giving me more chances. I thought he was putting them all on at once. All right, Tim first, then Dad. Pull. What the fuck? <laughs> I forgot the damn safety again. I get too excited. Oh. I'll shoot one of us. We'll be all right. You ready? Tim first. Tim first, because he's got one of them. Yeah, the little one doesn't shoot out of there very fast. Pull. Right. Oh, I'm pumping again, Joe. <laughs> No, no three 
shots? No, I was, they were too far away. I knew I was going to hit them. I threw another one. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> the little one is. Listen, loud noises. <laughs> what? What? Loud it's, noises here. I've got one in there. You got two of them in there? Well, you got, come on. Oh, that's just a little dirt. The gun's warming up. So I'm getting wet. Right Eyes on you! Eyes on you! I kill you! Who's first? It's him. Pull! Put the bead under it, dude. I'm trying! Shit moves too fast! <laughs> right, Joe? Thank you! <laughs> Your job's so easy on you. Ready? Hold on. Yeah, go. I just want to do one shot. Don't. Don't pull, because I've only got one shell. Ready? Pull. You almost hit it with the wad. <laughs> <laughs> the wad almost hit it. It's okay, Joe. We're both bad today. That's all right. We're all bad. Yeah, yeah even that is bad to think. You know what? Some, you know, what really pisses me off is when somebody says, oh, I got three boxes, and they've emptied two of them halfway out or more. Hey, I only have Federals, not Win Winchesters. Yeah, what did, you, what did I just tell you? I had cases of these things. Nothing in it? No. We're going to run out before we're ready to run out. We'll just have to look at some more, Dad. Where'd you get the clay pigeons from? Hmm? Where'd you get the new ones from? Walmart. Oh. Who's first? Joe's first. Oh. Oh, we got that. Yeah, it's dirty. Dirty, filthy, dirty. I don't have any more shells. Oh, we gotta pick those up too. There's four left in there. We used to be so good at this that we would put two on that. And I'd, all the time. Always had them. I used to could, huh? Just first. Pull! Oh. Hey, you got that one. That's barely. Readjust. That's that one, Tim? Yep. Pull! Hey, oh. yeah, you got that one. No, I used to reload when years ago when we had the Blackbird problem. Oh, yeah. I kind of, I don't... It, I kind of remember you sitting me down somewhere nearby and I watch you pulling the levers and pull I was just sitting next to me at the damn time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but I was All tiny, the time. So I used to reload and reload and reload reload. But anyways, we had Blackbird problems. We had, uh, we were getting baker, re returned bakery bread out of uh, the baker down in Milford. It was Irish soda bread. Nice. Irish by the truckloads of Irish. Oh, because they, we had a bad snowstorm that I that uh, St. Patrick's Day. So, here, give me the gun. The uh, I gotta clean this thing, I should take it home and clean it. The uh, Irish soda bread came in on truckload after truckload, and the back of the building was full of Irish soda bread. And the problem was it had little metal clips that held the plastic to it, mm. so you had to cut. The plastic before you dropped it, you couldn't just throw it into the into the cow's eat because a little metal thing would kill the cow. So, anyways, we had all this soda bread in here. We had all these birds by like thousands, by ten thousand birds, always around here, grackles and starlings. So, what do you do with them? You shoot them. So, we had several different methods that we tried at first. Uh, we had a net that the state had given us to, it was a turkey net that they, it was like 300 feet long up to, that's another story for another day what we did with that. But we took these net and this net and we put it up over the door and we pulled it up and we left the doors open so the grackles and the starlings would come in mm -hmm. and we quick shut the door mm -hmm. and they would, they would barrel into the, into the net and we took scoop shovels and beat the shit out of them. <laughs> trying to kill these birds. They don't die very easy, but they're all tangled up in there. And you just, 
basically you're going like a potato mash or on a bunch of dead, dying dead birds. It was awful. Oh, God. So I decided once of that was too much. So I said to Dad, I said, well, I got, I said, I got a bunch of 12 gauge shot. We'd just start shooting them. So we'd milk cows, and before we'd go home for breakfast, we'd shoot a bunch of birds. I mean a bunch. A couple hundred shell, shells was nothing. A couple hundred shells at these birds. They would fly from one end. They'd fly from the, you'd run the, they were really bad because the birds would fly to the bunk feeder and eat the feed, and then they'd fly back to the bunk, into the building and try to peck it. They'd peck through that plastic bag to get it to soda bread. Mm -hmm. So we got tens of thousands of these things. So anyway, it was a real snowy winter. In the morning, we'd shoot them up. Lunchtime, we would shoot all from the time we stopped <laughs> milking till lunchtime. Our arms were so sore by the time we were done shooting these, but we were really good at shooting them. I mean, it was nothing. If there were three shells in a gun, there were three birds dead, and that's how good of shots we got. So at lunchtime, I'd come home and I'd eat real quick. I'd have ramen noodle, ramen noodles in a in a bagel because that's what I ate because we were saving money to buy the house. And then I would just ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk. I had an automatic mech, uh, 650. Uh, no, it's still down there. I've got two of them. I had the automatic one, so I could really crank them out. And I had their they, the bags came in 20, 25 pound bags, right? 25 mm -hmm. pound bags of got, lead. I still got one at the house. Yeah, 25 pound bags of shot. Number six, number five, and number six. I liked the heavier lead because it was good for shooting pigeons. And I'd go through that. I lunchtime load them from the time I finished loading it took an hour hour and a half to load up a couple of hundred shells till we milk cows again we shot we'd shoot them from the dad would be out at the bunk feeder I'd be at the building and we would bounce these things back and forth back and forth back and forth they'd stop they'd stop flying they'd go away for a while but they knew that there was food there they'd come back and we'd shoot some more gather up the shells anyways after that winter was over I'll never forget Aunt Beth's husband, Paul. He, uh, he comes out of the house, it was like really warm, and he's looking around, he's like, you know that Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds? <laughs> he said, I think you killed them all. <laughs> you know? It was literally, because it was, it was that winter, I think it was the year that his mom, you, your mom was pregnant for you. Yeah. Because that year, it snowed from November to April, every fucking day it was snow it was we couldn't even come to the barn with the snowmobiles that's how deep it was i mean it was like this we were plow we were snow blowing out here to take the shit out because we couldn't get the shit the tractors wouldn't pull the shit spray through the snow that was that deep we could not use the snowmobile it was that deep but man there was a lot of birds thousands and thousands and thousands of them like we we went through so much lead i was going out and buying 100 pounds of lead just to reload. I mean, this gun is not really as dirty as you think. It's worn out. We wore it out. <laughs> and his gun, we rebuilt the uh, we rebuilt the ejectors in them. Like here, they get weak. Mm -hmm. They get dirty. They get weak. And this tongue right here, where you, the holds the shells in the magazine, that little tongue there, wore that out on both of the wing masters. And I bought your mama. 870 Express Magnum, Ultra Magnum, three and a half inch. That's not a good thing to shoot birds with. I mean, it's because it kicks too hard. <laughs> it's a really light synthetic stock gun, but the, the butt stock or the pad actually got folded into the stock. We shot it so much. <laughs> we shot the piss out of that thing. <laughs> but anyways, that's story time for one day, right? How about that, Tedessa? Yep. We got lots of stories, don't I?